Good day, viewers. My name is Tunde Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family in Luton. In our Open Heavens Reflection today, we are considering the topic, Prayer is Sign of Dependence. Prayer is Sign of Dependence. Our text is taken from Luke 22, from verse 39 to 46. Luke 22, 39 to 46. Coming out, he went to the month of Olives, as he was accustomed, and his disciples also followed him. When he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, it is your will. If it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. When he rose up from prayer and had come to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. Then he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. A memory verse, Luke chapter 6, verse 12. Luke chapter 6, verse 12. Now it came to pass in those days that he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Our reflection for today. We're still focusing on the theme of leadership in our Open Heavens Daily Devotional today. Uh, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the general pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, said that it is a dangerous thing to go into ministry without being called of God. However, if you have heard God's call, Follow his timing and respond in obedience. After God has called you into spiritual leadership, go ahead and pray your way into breakthrough. Prayer and leadership go hand in hand. Leadership is not for the unprepared. By its nature, ministry brings the called into a face-to-face -face conflict with the kingdom of darkness. God backs only those he has called. If God has not called you, he will not be obligated to defend you. If he has not called you, he will not be moved to reward you for your service or meet your personal and ministerial needs. Are you called of God? However, prayer is necessary for the called. Prayer shows your level of dependence on God. If you place much premium on prayer, it shows you depend on God. But if you pray infrequently or you continue to say a few minutes prayer, it shows how independent of God you are. In such instances, the leader will start to resort even to all sorts of gimmicks and tricks we find people playing today just to keep ministry going. Uh, Pastor Adeboye said in today's Open Heavens uh, Daily Devotional Guide that a prayerless Christian is a self-willed, self-directed, and self-sufficient individual. God wants us to depend on Him for our existence. And that is why the Bible says that it is in him that we live and move and have our being. Acts 17, 28. Let's learn to depend on him for everything. Before the Lord started his ministry, he fasted and prayed for 40, uh, 40 days at a stretch. After his ministry began, he continued in prayer. And that is the mistake some make you know, today. Before embarking on a major assignment such as ministry, marriage, whatever it may be, we should pray and rely on God for direction for every step of the way. However, after the inaugural service and marriage ceremony, prayer ceases. We are now in church. Now, why won't things go wrong? Let us learn from the Lord. He kept on praying. Before he appointed his 12 apostles, he took time to talk it over with the Father. Prayer is very, very important in our lives. And we must take it serious and solely depend on God for direction. Have a blessed day and God be with you. Bye.